Hi boys and girls, happy Monday. All right, we are gonna do math number 129 today. So get out your ruler. Today we're gonna do a six centimeter line segment. So line up your zero with the dot. Okay, and let's write our last name. Remember you wanna practice good handwriting. Train your muscles to write it the right way. All right, let's write left and right. Underline I3. We're gonna write the abbreviated date again. So we're in a new month, we're in May. So let's count the months. January, February, March, and April, May. May is the fifth month. So we're gonna put a five. We're on the fourth day of May, and we're still in the 20th year. And today is Monday. Boys and girls, your M and your D should be the same height. And let's underline A, May. All right, go ahead and do 14 tally marks. Pause the video until you have this done and you're caught up to this point. All right, help me count my tally marks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, we're practicing 117 for handwriting today. Remember, ones are nice and straight, top to bottom. A seven, direction we read, angle down and land underneath where you started. Oops, I forgot our number. All right, put on your teacher hats and see if you can notice some mistakes in my handwriting. Okay, so hopefully you're noticing that this one is falling down instead of being right there on the top line. What's wrong with this one? I didn't angle down and land underneath where I started. This one, I went too far, right? I should have landed here underneath where I started. And this one, he fell down off the top again. All right, so go back and check your handwriting and see if there's any corrections you should make. Pause the video till you've made your corrections, you've written even or odd, and you've counted by threes the digits on the line and written your answer. All right, help me count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. And we have E double E. And we look at the ones place and see that there's a seven, which means this is odd. All of your circles should be the same size. Okay, let's get out our spy tools. I spy 117 in problem one. And I see E double E. All right, oh, I spy the word 10 in problem two. I spy the word two in problem five. All right, if you've got those down, you can put your spy tools away. All right, today we're doing a graph again for our word problem. So let's take a look. In room nine, 10 children wore long sleeve shirts. Oh, boys and girls, I missed the seven in our spy tools. I bet you caught it before I did, didn't you? All right. 
So let's get out of blue and let's do 10 long sleeve shirts. So go to long sleeves and let's do 10 circles. Remember, a smart student will go back and count to double check that they have 10. All right, and let's get out of green. Seven children wore short sleeves shirts. Let's do seven. Smart students go back and count to make sure they have seven. Always checking over your work. All right, get out your red pencil. We want to know how many more children wore long sleeves than wore short sleeves. So remember, we draw our line where they stop being even or equal. So draw your red line. Okay, so how many more children did we have that wore long than short? Count your answer and write the number here. Pause the video until you're done before you look at my answer. All right, you should have written three. Three more children wore long sleeve than short sleeve. All right, but they're asking us a higher order thinking question, a hot question. How many children are in room nine? So how could we figure out how many children are in room nine? Okay, well we know everybody wore a shirt, right? You wear shirts to school. And we know there was seven shirts and 10 shirts. So if we wanna know how many all together, what do you think we do? We add. All right, so let's add that together. So we had seven kids wore short sleeve plus 10 kids wore long sleeves. So what does that equal? All right, well, we know we're adding 10. We write a one, copy the other number. All right, let's check our answer another way. Let's count by twos until we get to the red line and then count on, ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so there are 17 children in room nine. All right, boys and girls, get out your ruler and I want you to measure this line in centimeters and write your answer. And then measure this one in inches and write your answer. Pause your video until you have that done. Okay, you should have said 12 centimeters and two inches, okay? All right, let's get out a blue crayon and underline the word blue. All right, so Let's find the shapes that are divided into fourths. Okay, with our pencil, is this divided into fourths? Yeah, there's four equal pieces. Let's circle it. Is this divided into fourths? No, that's divided in half. Is this divided in fourths? No, that's divided into sixths. Is this divided into fourths? Yes, circle it. And this one? No, that's halves. All right, now we want to color two fourths of each of our circled shapes. So pick two that are next to each other, not diagonal, but next to each other in some way. I'm going to pick these two. We want to use good kindergarten coloring, staying in the lines, coloring the whole thing in making those hand muscles strong. Okay, and let's pick two over here. All right, so 
we colored two out of the four pieces. And you might be noticing that it looks like we color half, right? Two fourths is the same thing as one half. So we colored half of each of these. All right, go ahead and pause the video while you do your money problems. Look, it's subtraction, addition, subtraction, addition. Remember, you always want to do the ones place first. So pause the video until that's done, and then unpause and check your answers. Okay, let's see what you did. Four minus four is zero. Five minus three is two. All right, zero plus nine is nine. One plus eight is nine. Five minus three is two. Five minus four is one. And three plus three, that's a double, that's six. One plus seven is eight. Okay, if you made any mistakes, go back and fix your answers and maybe try these again on the back. You might wanna try the measuring problems on the back as well. When you're done with this for today, do the fact problems for 129. All right, and they're all subtraction practice. Maybe try setting a timer and see how long it takes you, and then set a timer each day and see if you can get faster at them. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.